What's going on today, guys? We're gonna go out and do some work, and I got a suspension issue on my trailer. So the trailer is grounded today, but that doesn't that doesn't mean PPC Total Turf is shut down. I had to break out something that I wasn't quite planning on breaking out yet, and I'll explain why and what it is and everything. If you stick around and stay tuned. my suspension issue the leaf spring equalizer right there one of the shackles is broken and it's twisted it may make it through the day may make it another hundred thousand miles i don't know but uh, if it breaks i'm screwed so i'm not gonna take this thing anywhere till i can get the part if i can get you any closer the bushings are probably shot in this thing anyway there you go. And I don't know if it shows up on camera, but it's twisted. And that shackle that goes from that bolt to that bolt, as you can see, is broken. So, no trailer in today. So what the hell am I gonna do? <laughs> I can't get it fixed today. Um, but I can I can carry the permit green out. I bought a B and B uh, receiver hitch rack for my permit green. About a month or so ago. I haven't tried it out yet. I was kind of saving it for another project. I'm going to put it on the new PPC Total Turf Mobile, and that's that's coming soon. I've, I've had a couple of holdups on that. But I'll explain that when it gets time, and there'll be videos on the new PPC Total Turf Mobile, too. But anyway, enough of that rambling. Let's look at the uh, b, b rack. I hadn't even used it yet. I, I just stuck it on the truck and made some adjustments on it, and I'll, I'll show you and tell you a little bit about it. Come on. Got this bad boy at the site one in North Raleigh. The boys ordered it for me and gave me a good deal on it. They helped me out a lot on it. I appreciate it. Um, they put it together too, but I had to make some minor adjustments. These uh, stops for the wheels, they had them all the way back and of course the machine wouldn't fit on it. I slid it into the middle holes there and I can get my long wheelbase triumph on it, the older one, barely it's tight but i mean it ain't coming off but the uh the newer one that i have the short wheel base one will fit right on there nice i assume i don't know how to put that one on there yet all right a little little look at it got lights on it it's kind of fancy right all right so this is obviously going to make it way easier to get around to places without pulling that 20 some foot trailer um, but I can't haul as much junk, obviously. But uh, I'm not too keen on the stability in the <laughs> in the receiver. But I mean, I I don't guess that's that much to worry about. I like I said, I really had no intentions of using it with this particular truck. I got a flatbed that I'm going to be using it with, and one of the holdups to using it with the pickup is my gravity-fed nurse tank. I'm gonna have to let the tailgate down to fill up my permagreen to get my hose low enough and to get the tailgate down. It's, I, I'll see when I get out today, it's not a big deal, but I'll have to take where, I'll have to take this off, and but it's just a clip pin pull out adjustable thing, so it shouldn't be that big a deal. All right, well, let's, uh, let's park the machine on it and see how that goes. long wheelbase triumph my back tires are almost too far to the back of the ramp but it will hook if you take advantage of the uh, mushiness of my under inflated tires and then this thing just goes over and locks the back platform down and she's in there like a champ all right, let's take a look at it on the on the back of the truck. So it fits up there just fine. It even it gets a little more stable seeming with the with the machine actually on it. The machine sits on it pretty good actually. 
Um, I like how when, you know, somebody does a nice job building something and then when they go to put the uh, star on top of the tree, so to speak, they put the sticker on their crooked as hell. I might can modify that and improve it a little bit. Let me see. There, that's a little better. It's actually still a little crooked. There, that's perfect. Ha, all right. It's made up pretty nice. It's heavy, and now that the machine's locked in there, it doesn't rock around as much as it did as an empty platform. The way the machine kind of balances it out and it sits where it wants to. Um, putting this thing in by yourself, one dude, you're gonna have to be a bad dude. That's all I can say. I took it and put it on a pallet at the shop and took the forklift and raised it up to about, you know, right where I could just push it off into the hole. And then even then you gotta maneuver it. And like I said, I, I didn't buy it with intentions of using with this truck and you gotta get all up under the truck to get the receiver pin in cause it's tight in there. Let me show you. This is what I'm referring to when I'm saying it's tight to plug it in and put the pin in and all that stuff. This is the clip you're gonna have to take out to get your tailgate down. You'll just pull that out and pull this up and the tailgate should come down. Tight. Enough blabbing. Let's get it out there in the real world and put it to the test. See what it can do. The B and B receiver hitch perma green triumph trailer right. So hold on, I, I saved the sticker so I can give you their website. There it is right there. But you could get these through site one and they're pretty reasonable too. Before we take off, in case this thing falls off, here's one last look at it. These lock up over top of the wheels. Pretty, pretty tight. She ain't going nowhere. <clears throat> then there's a uh, bar that comes across the platform back here, and that will just pull out and fall away. You don't have to actually pull the bar out. And the ramps, got a bar that hooks. There's a track so you don't drive off of it in a lip right there with the track. So, there we go. Let's go to work. Went ahead and filled it up. We're gonna go spray some Monument and for diamine. Um, I don't want anything to blow off. I'd hate to lose my squirt bottle. Spot sprayer, sorry. My buddy Chris Elms recommended this rack to me. He said, I've had one 15 years and the machine only fell off of it once. I don't know if that's a good recommendation, but he seems to love it. So I like it so far. So let's go do some work. We can hit this zoysia. Backyard's got a few more weeds in it. Overall, this looks pretty good. Got zoysia over here across the street. Well, it made it over here. That's a bonus. places with this thing and not to worry about backing the trailer up um i did this guy's front yard about a week ago with uh shore guard it was a jungle but it's pretty dang clean now he wants the backyard done but see before i had to back the trailer in here off the main road now i could just get in with my rack right, driving around with this thing is great i mean compared to pulling a big trailer i can get into cul-de-sacs uh, i mean i've turned jobs down because i couldn't get the big trailer in them and with spraying jobs you get a lot more uh you know jobs that are in little tight spots that you got to get the truck and trailer in and with this thing i mean you just zip around Hell, you can even go through the mcwendy's drive through if you want to but fuel mileage saving and just ease of getting around with something like this it's pretty much a no-brainer i think the thing could could possibly pay for itself you know and just uh just save time and save fuel mileage. But it's a pretty cool little deal. I don't have to worry about this traffic island right here. I just zipped right in there. You should have seen it. Can you see it back there? 
it's not bouncing around too much or anything. And as far as feeling it on the truck, this is a F-350. It doesn't even squat it any way out there on the back of it like that. Maybe with a smaller truck, it might, uh, you might, you know, feel it squishing the back down some, but, but not on this. I use this rag today. I really like it. I'm going to go ahead and say it's a must have perma green accessory people. Um, it's just, it just makes so much sense being able to zip around and do your stuff and not tow in the trailer. So if you're, if you're just towing a trailer just for a perma green, just get one of these things, man. Um, Anyway, man, we'll check them out at Site One or B&B &B Trailer Rack or Racks, whatever they're called. I showed you the website thingy, the WWW thing. But anyway, highly recommended.